There is no secret formula to get good player growth, however by combining these simple tips you can achieve a high overall for all young players, in fact most will go way above their potential. So the first tip is to keep a small squad, ideally you want two players each per position in your starting 11 and then a couple of extra reserves. The smaller the squad the easier it is to keep all of your players happy. The next tip is to upgrade your players as early as possible. As detailed in many videos on my channel there are easy ways to upgrade a young player's overall and potential. The first of which is an overall upgrade from a positional change. Potential can be upgraded in two different ways, the first of which is the new signing glitch where the potential status will upgrade simply by the player joining your club. The second of which is a good old fashioned potential loan glitch where you send a young player out on loan then recall them and they will receive a potential upgrade and a value increase. The next tip in my opinion is the most important aspect of player growth and that is managing development plans. So once you've tried a positional change for an overall upgrade it's then time to use a development plan to upgrade any weaknesses that player may have whether that be skill moves, weak footwork rate or any particular attribute. Once happy then switch the plan to balanced, even though this will take longer to achieve a plus one, this is the only plan that trains every single attribute consistently. If you notice the yellow dial on one of your younger players throughout the season, all it means is that player has achieved his maximum growth on that particular development plan. Simply change the plan and the dial will disappear. In my opinion the least important aspect of player growth, especially if you keep a small squad, is group training. Now group training does improve player sharpness, however it's not as effective as a player playing regular consistent matches. I only ever use this feature to train the substitutes and the reserves to improve their sharpness by setting up a second team sheet. But like I've just said, if you keep a small squad and rotate your players, group training has minimal impact on player growth. And personally, I've never played a training drill since they were introduced back in FIFA 16. If any of your young players aren't first team quality yet, then loan them out. Their overall should still grow consistently and their potential will be protected from downgrading from not playing too many matches. Ideally, try to loan your younger players out to a team lower rated than your own. That way, they should play more matches. The next tip is massively important in player growth and that is avoid seeming too far ahead using the calendar. This results in the assistant manager picking the starting 11 based on the highest overall, therefore it may not include the young player you're trying to grow. So if you're not playing a particular match, use one of the match day sim options instead, whether that be sim match or quick sim, that way you will use your default starting 11. The new playable highlights feature is an excellent way to get through a few matches quickly and progress your season. The penultimate tip is another very important one and that is dynamic potential which has five main components. So firstly player performance is mainly influenced by players individual match rating. Team performance is influenced by results and the current run of form. Playtime is influenced by how many matches the player features in. Improve your player's contract once a season. If all indicators are green, your player's morale will be very happy and have a positive effect on dynamic potential. And finally, growing players to a high overall is a marathon and not a sprint. So please be prepared to invest a few seasons into your career mode. So by combining these very simple tips, you should see excellent results in your player growth. Thank you so much for watching this video, please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.